What's going on everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be doing the injectors removing 335i 2009 and So we're gonna check it out. How does it looks because my car is jerking pretty bad jerking jerking. Yeah um, I replaced the actual spark plugs. I replaced the uh, coils, but it still doesn't work well and We're gonna find out why does they doing it? Is it the uh, problem with the actual electric or it's got a lot of dust in there? Might be the, like some kind of crap on it. But anyway, we'll check it out how to do it in uh, under two minutes and we'll start it right now. Gloves, 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 gloves. Bunch of electricity at the back. So make sure you're gonna get the rubber gloves and the car not gonna kill you while you'll be working with it. Anyway, remove the battery. Remove all your crap from the car. Work it. Do the minus one. You don't want to mess with that thing. Get your friend with you and let him hold the actual ground cable. So let's put another friend to keep the trunk open. Remove the cover, either one, either bolt. I got, I got just two bolts holding the actual plate. Perfect, like brand new. Oops. 1714, German stuff. So make sure you're gonna put the right under the fuel line and crank it up. Just a little bit, just a touch. Pressure is down. Remove the two lines from the injectors, whichever you want to work with them, or remove the whole line. So basically a couple more screws at the back, and then you just flip it out. So there's the 17 mil, the big one, and the 14 small one. Covered up the actual holes to remove any possibility to dirt comes in it. But still we got a one central bolt in there, which is the E-type. Just remove it and pull them out. And don't forget about these wires. To remove them, there is a little clip at the back. Ooh. Got a long extension and check it out. Yeah, too long one. E10 if you can see it. Ooh, pretty tough. Now we're actually gonna remove it. Time to get out that thing. Ask your friend to help you or use the wrench. Holy shit, something falling apart. Range not gonna help. Basically it was the end of the video. So the, there was under two minutes. I believe it's it's been like 30 seconds. So this is what we got. So you can see at the head actually, it should pop up whenever it's spraying. I will use some soft material to clean that stuff, but I don't know what's gonna happen with it. Let's check it out. So what do you think about this one? I gotta wipe it and we'll check it out. How does it look? Crap, crap in there. Using a carburetor cleaner. To remove actual stuff from the top, but make sure you're not gonna damage the gasket because that thing gonna eat your gasket right away. So just, just work with that carefully. it does look much better so can you see the actual the gap in there you might can you might cannot but there is little glue in there and that actually the top it pops up and spray the gas I don't know if it's true but recently I'm sorry I didn't take a shot of it but recently started the car and a car actually working great and uh, the car was staying here all day long uh, and I don't know it's working I still got to have to clean the fifth, uh, fifth injector but uh, otherwise I have no troubles so I'm gonna get you update tomorrow and we'll check it out does it go same crappy or it goes better if it goes better I guys gonna suggest you to do it you might consider it to clean it not spend extra coin for it and get ready for another couple thousand miles and then probably replace the actual injector but still so far I feel like it sounds good I will take it for a spin and we're gonna have uh, have to look it up what's going on but anyway still be here just make sure all the lines are not leaking 
at least they are dry. No fire underneath. If no fire, it's all good. So the BMW injectors are noisiest. Hell. Full spin. Let's take it for a spin. Man, it does go good. So good. Man, it does work well, really well, man. I have no troubles with it. Anyway, guys, uh, we'll get you update tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day, another morning. Usually in the morning time, whenever I start the car, going to work, uh, I got his troubles, but if they not gonna be back, I'll be happy as man because I'm not gonna spend extra 600 bucks for them. Whoa. The wheels are spinning, the turbochargers are swistling. Oh my God, I love the car. Great, great. Guys. Great to be with you. Got quite a nice neighborhood. The AMG AMG S63, the Porsche 911, which is a nice car as well. And a BMW 335. Oh my god. 535 my my neighbor's car is in GL. Is it mine? Oh yeah, big time.